Hey troops, it is General J Smith here, otherwise known as Josh, with another Lego Star Wars book review, and this is what I've been leading up to. It is the updated and expanded Lego Star Wars Visual Dictionary, containing every single Lego Star Wars set and minifigure to have ever come out from 1999 to the present date, 2014. So yeah, uh, I've done a, a couple of these reviews already, you know, you check back in my video history for them. Um, and it's basically leading up to this, really, because, you know, on May the 4th I decided to buy this. Because, well, The Visual Diction, my favourite book of all LEGO Star Wars books. And believe it or not, yes, some of you may be thinking, really, there are LEGO Star Wars books. I know, there are. Uh, and this is actually my favourite because it contains every single set and it's so cool to see the timeline and everything. And not just that, though. But in this particular edition, it even contains every single minifigure in the back of the book. You know, every single variant, every single, well, just everything, really. Um, so I'm very pleased to see it right now. We got the previous version in 2010, and obviously, as it says in the box, the updated and expanded version. You know, with every single set, as you can see on the front cover, um, you know, after 2010 up to 2014. Now there are some flaws with it, there are some good things about it, you get an exclusive minifigure here, which is kind of strange actually, this particular minifigure you get, but we'll show you that in a minute. Uh, but yeah, so I suppose really, let's just get into the thing, I'm just going to show you the front and back, and then we'll get into the minifigures and stuff like that. So, yeah, um, it's really cool, it's kind of reflective in that way, which is kind of nice, I really like, you know, it wasn't just the sort of general white the old visual dictionary was, it, you know, they did more into it, that's really cool, you got Boba Fett obviously on the front, uh, I think it's the most recent Boba Fett, we got the AT-RT from 2013, that from 2014, 2013, and the Mike Fighter from 2014. Then down here we've got an exclusive minifigure. We've got Luke Skywalker. This, this sort of, um, it looks like the well old version of Luke Skywalker. And I assume that's what they were going for. You know, they were trying to make it so it looked like one of those older figures, especially with the fact that he's actually got um yellow, you know, uh, um hands and like yellow face instead of actual flesh. You know, all that. So uh, yeah, but anyway, I'm going to show you him later. Just turning onto the back over here. Uh, it's pretty similar to the old one, except obviously in the sort of colours and the pictures. You know, uh, feel free to read all this. You know, you can pause the video if you want to. Down here we have the 2013 ATTE. I'll be showing you more of that later on. We've got the planet sets. This is the UCS Y Wing. And we've got some other figures we've got over the years and stuff. You know, you can see Visual Dictionary. A sort of reflective thing, you know, really cool. Now, just like the old one, uh, I think a bit less than half of it is just this cardboard cutout um, for where you're meant to um, put in, you know, the minifigure. Uh, but nonetheless, it's still very thick, actually quite heavy. I'm actually just going to do a very quick comparison here. I'll do like more of this later on. To the 10 one, this one is considerably heavier, and it's not just a figure, obviously. Like, I know, obviously, there's like four more years of sets in here, so obviously be more pages, but not that many. There aren't that many more pages, you know, you can sort of see the difference in thickness there. You know, there's not really a massive difference at all. It's pretty similar, yet this one is far heavier. I mean, you know, it's definitely noticeable, and I don't really think it'd be that much heavier, but it is. Uh, you can see that's just the general white, whereas this one's more reflective and stuff, and I really love that. You know, it's just, it looks really cool, and yeah, but anyway, so um, I guess let's actually get into the book, which is actually very cool, and I cannot wait to open this. I, I'm, I'm sure you're going to like it just as much as I do. And if you want to pick up some sort of Lego book or, you know, anything like that, then I highly recommend you pick up this one, because it is amazing. Alright, so we are just going to take the new exclusive Luke minifigure out of here. And you notice actually the difference is that um, in other books we've got, for example the old Visual Dictionary, <laughs> I've lost his head there, um, and other sets like that, that box by the way just there to hold it up, um, he, they came fully made, you know, like for example if I just get the other Visual Dictionary, see? They sort of came in that form already, you didn't have to build them. This one, however, is just like a little slot with all the different pieces in, where you do have to build it. I mean, it's always not, you know, a major issue or anything. It's not exactly very hard to build. But, uh, there you go then. That is Luke Skywalker. The new slash old Luke Skywalker. 
I think the only difference, um, you know, he's meant to, I think, look like an old figure, um, because I think the old figures do look more, you know, exclusive and rare because they look older. Uh, but actually, there's quite a lot of new printing to him. You can see the fact, you know, especially the legs. The legs are new. Never got these before. Very detailed. I love the way it's sort of, you know, you can see it goes from. You know, it does really curve around with the legs. That's very nice. Very nice. I love the way that this white does look exactly the same as that white, even though they printed it on d darker legs. And also, the major difference is the fact he's come with yellow. I'm not sure why he came with yellow. I suppose just to make him look like an older figure. But really, I don't really know why his flesh um, is yellow. Like the Simpsons, you know. But, you know, and his face obviously is very basic. All this, I think, is just to make him look like an older figure. And a much rarer figure. Even though he is technically exclusive. He comes with back printing. So very nice. And there you go, he comes with his, you know, standard hair piece, really nothing amazing about that. This this is really canny, you know, really similar to the old ones we got. I think there is a slight difference. For example, they had no back printing or leg printing back then. But nonetheless, it does really look like, you know, disregard that. A really old figure, and I'm really glad they did it. Um, I mean, in the day, you're not really going to use it. If you want to use a Luke and like a mock or stop motion, you will use the more updated versions. But nonetheless, it's still really cool to get. Um, so yeah, he's definitely a very worthy Luke Skywalker minifigure. Obviously, this is in episode four before um, he met Obi Wan and before all that. So yeah, that is Luke Skywalker. All right, so now let's uh, open this puppy up and see what we got inside. Now, as I said, this is expanding everything, but hopefully this won't be too long. This segment, uh, just got the blue face there. Uh, you know, nothing really that special about the front. We just got the stand. You know, we have the UCS B wing here from 2013, so that's kind of cool. Written by Simon B. Croft and Jason Fry. So all that stuff. Uh, we've got Obi -Wan, I mean, sorry, Obi -Wan Kenobi, uh, Yoda. Uh, you know, actually with the exact same phrase we got on the previous one. So, there you go, except obviously different Yoda. We got the contents page, it looks pretty similar to the old one. Um, these are just the different chapters and obviously the page name, uh, numbers, and all this stuff. You can just look through, there's a lot of different stuff. Very nice, very nice indeed. Special sets, you know, obviously we've got the new Mike Fighters Planet sets. All the different stuff. Um, and yeah. Okay, so on this page, introduction, just all this different stuff. I'm not going to really go through this that much because nothing really to see. New Chewbacca, really awesome figure, I have to say. And then we've got this guy who didn't come with a helmet. Kind of annoying. Sith Warrior, really awesome. And then we've got this thing. It looks exactly the same, this part, as the previous Visual Dictionary until obviously we get to the end where we had the extra bits, you know, 2011 and onwards. Um, however, funny enough, in the old one, They've actually tried to condense it more in this one. As you can see, the each um, like column is a year, you know, 1999 with every set, 2000, all that. Except they try to condense here. They try to put it, you know, five on one. Uh, is it five? Yeah, five on one page. Where normally you'd have four. Not sure why they did that. I suppose it's because 2013 is actually such a big year. So many sets came out in 2013, and I'm going to show you later. So they have to try to condense all the time two sets and time one sets into sort of one column, because there clearly weren't that many. I mean, in two thousand one. Oops, uh, that was barely any, so really, yeah. But really, it's exactly the same as the other ones, you know, obviously Time 5 is when Episode 3 came out. Uh, if you see my previous Visual Dictionary review, then you'll know what I'm talking about. Turn 9, Turn 10, and then we get to Turn 11, this is the new stuff. We have the, uh, Super Star Trek there. And we got all the new Clone Wars stuff. You can see the sort of Clone Wars progression. As it's sort of, you know, there was a quite a lot here. Then the biggest year for the Clone Wars sets was 2009. Uh, then we had it sort of decreased, then it went up again. And now onto this year. Actually, this is the year the sort of Clone Wars sets really decreased. But the Episode 3 and 2 sets increased. Which I suppose you could say is just the Clone Wars. Um, so anyway, in 2012, you know, we got all that stuff. The Planet series started. The Planet series, you know, we got all the different stuff. And all that. Very cool. And all this awesome stuff. 2013, Planet Series, still going on. Not sure what series that was. <laughs> Something. Uh, not actually, it doesn't actually look that many compared to like, other years. You know, we got the Ewok Village in 2013. And actually, if you look there, 2013 stretches that entire thing. If I just try to move this back. 
That is 2013. Oops. That entire section. That's like the equivalent of two. Two. The equivalent of two years worth of sets came out in one year in 2013, apparently. That is a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. I really want Ewok Village one day. That would be really awesome. Oh, uh, well. I really want Ewok Village. And then in 2014. This is the thing that annoys me, okay? This is one thing that annoys me about this book. It's not accurate. It's not up to date. And you may say, what do you mean it's not up to date? It's, you know, 2014. <sighs> Look down here. Right, um, now I assumed, like I think most of you probably assumed, that this was, you know, obviously up to completely 2014. So every single set that will come out in 2014 will also be in here. And I was, you know, hoping maybe there's a few sets we haven't actually seen yet will be in here. <sighs> not only are there not any more sets, but there are even sets not in here which we know are coming out. We've seen pictures of. Now the Sand Crawl is in here. And we've seen the Star Destroyer, my size the Cantina, and the 8080. But that's it. That is it from the summer line. There is nothing else. No uh, B-Wing, Snow Trooper, sorry, not Snow Trooper, Snow Speeder, uh, the Sith, uh, what's it called? Jedi Hunter thing, I don't know, whatever. That's not in there. Even the Advent Calendar is not in here. They've released the pictures. We all know, we've all seen them, yet they are not here. That annoys me intently. We've got every single other Advent Calendar. Where are they? Oh, yeah. You can sort of see there. That's, that's the 2013 one. It's not there. See, that band is meant to have an advent calendar in it, but it's empty. This is meant to have so much more stuff. It's got all the winter line, you know, and it's even got those sort of exclusive ones, like we've got the shuttle coming out later this year, but nothing. It doesn't even include every single 2014 summer line set. That is annoying. That's one of the things that really annoys me. How can it not have every single one? Oh, my days. There's even meant to be more than this, so it's not actually that up to date. Is it? I thought it would be, you know, completely up to date. But anywho, right, so let's go on to the prequel trilogy and Zeke Long was. Alrighty. Show me the camera now. Um, okay, so first page, um, sort of very similar layout to the previous um, one. We're just going to flick through this very quickly. Well, Anakin Skywalker, major differences. What they've done to try and conserve space is that, like, you know, there are different variants of sets. For example, the Naboo Starfighter. We've had, like, you know, three of them. And then what they've done, instead of just like um, labelling every single one, they've actually tried to conserve space by putting in a set history there. See, you've got turn 11 one there, which is the most recent, and then in the corner you've got set history with the previous two variants. You've got the one from turn 7 and from 1999. And they've done that with every single set, oops, which um, has been out before. For example, this one, which we've got, you know, see? Yeah, and they've even done that with the minifigures, which is kind of cool, actually. We're just going to flick through this. Uh, you know, we've just got the pod racing, all the different pod racing we've had all over the years, and all that stuff. You know, I really want to make a new version of that. You know, they've made a new version of every single other Jedi Starfighter, except Obi-Wan's, which is kind of strange. But yeah. Fine. We've got the new Jedi, all this new Jedi stuff. Apparently his name is Coleman Trebor. Not sure I mentioned that when I did the review of it, but I didn't know his name. I mean, I definitely don't know it now. Uh, we've got all this stuff, it's cool. We've got all these astromechs, these really cool astromechs. I'm actually going to read this bit because, you know, a lot of people like to know about astromechs. Pause the video if you want to watch that. Uh, we've got all this stuff. Uh, Chance to Palpatine, all his stuff. Uh, Sith followers, we've got the new Sith people. You know, we've even got, you know, the exclusive, like... That was the poly bag. Um, I'm not sure when that was. Sometime. Oh, 2012. You can see there. Uh, yeah. That's kind of cool. We have the Republic Army. This looks very cool. Very cool indeed. We've got the new AT. Oops. ATAP Republic um, Cannon. The new AT. I'm sorry. That's ATAP. Haha. <laughs> I'm saying the names wrong now. That's, you know, um, anyway, ATTE from 2013, and we've got set history of the previous two. They're really cool. Burning Turbo Tank, you know, we've got all the different variants of the Bark Speeder. This is the one from the, uh, what is it? I'm not sure when that was. Uh, 2013? No, 2014. What, what am I talking about? I don't even know what I'm talking about here. Um, we've got these three, um, 2011, the 2007 one, and the really old 2005 one. So that's really awesome. Fighter Tank, we've only ever had one variant of that. So, yeah. ATOT, that was a UCS set. That was probably one of the best UCS sets ever. Like one of the only ever Clone Wars UCS sets. We've got this one, and we've got the, all the different variants of the Swamp Speeder. 
And now onto this bit, which I also really love. We have the Republic Navy. Just looking through this, we've got a bunch of really cool sets here. Keep trying to readjust the camera. Just so many cool sets. This is one of my best pages in the entire thing. It looks awesome. Didn't know the, the police gunship was in the Republic Navy. Let's actually read about that. What's this about the police gunship? So there you go. That's the police gunship. Turning all that zip page. We have we have the whole thing, you know, just devoted to the Republic gunship, like a whole page, and we've got all the different variants there. You know, so that's kind of funny. Don't know why they devoted like a whole two pages to the Republic gunship. I mean, yeah, it's a really cool set, but not nice. And then this is also one of my favorite pages. We have the clone troopers. <gasps> clone troopers. Yes. Yes, if your clone was found, then I think you love this guy. Uh, you have the uh, um, atom. <laughs> Sorry, I can't say it now. Anatomy of a clone trooper. And all this really cool stuff. We've even got the clone lieutenant, that exclusive one. We've got all this stuff. We've got the airborne trooper there. We've got the other airborne trooper there. Just, my word, there's really cool stuff. We've even got the new weapons for 2014. We've got a lot of really cool stuff. This book is quite large, actually. It's hard to... Um, we have the MTT. I've been wanting another version of this more than anything else. I wanted a new version of this more than I want a new version of the Sandcrawler. My word, how much I've wanted that set so badly. If you want to make a clone army, sorry, a droid army, that is definitely has to be the best set. So anyway, we have the <laughs> Separatist army there. There's so much information, it's, it's really cool. Also, I just want to show you this. We have, this is the sixth version of the droid car. Sick. Unbelievable. I mean, technically, I'll, I'll say this one and that one is the same. However, they called it different, because this one's from the Clone Juice Battle Pack. With the, uh, if you can see there, try to zoom in, sort of grey legs. And the actual one uh, from the Republic Canon has the silver legs, sort of chrome legs. So they did call it different, apparently. They are two different variants of the droid car, apparently, but, you know, not really. Don't know why they changed it at all, but there have been six different variants. My God. Six over the years. That is ridiculous. So, yeah. Uh, six different variants of the droid car, then. That's pretty crazy. And then we've got even the Separatist Navy. There's been five different versions of the Vulture Droid. Five! It's kind of amazing when you find out how many different versions have been of sets. We're just going to try and fix through this now because I realise it's probably going to go on for a ton of time. Uh, we've got, you know, the new Umbarans and Mandalorians. We've never had this before. Really cool. Jar Jar Binks there. Probably one of those hated characters in all sci-fi. <laughs> uh, you know. we just got all the stuff. Cad Bane. I really like Cad Bane. He's like... I actually probably like him more than Boba Fett. Mainly because Cad Bane actually had lines in the Clone Wars. He actually did stuff. He did really cool stuff. In the original trilogy, we barely do Boba Fett do diddly squat. He barely, barely does anything in the entire original trilogy. He says like a few lines of dialogue. Yeah, he's really cool, but he still is, uh, you know, Cameron. With Cameron. Uh, and then next chapter, we have the original trilogy and the expanded universe. Uh, we've got some stuff. You've got the 2012 um, X Wing there. There's three other variants of that. So this is the fourth X-Wing. Um, this, by the way, the newest uh, snow speed. Not snow speed. What is this? Thingy. Come on, that's cool. Sound speeder. Land speeder. <laughs> There's so many speeders. Uh, this is the one from Mos Eisley's Cantina, actually. And we've had three other versions of that. So, yeah, that's kind of cool. I'll be reviewing that set, by the way, when it comes out. And obviously, we have the sand crawler here. I'm not going to go too much into this. Because um, I'm trying to sort of rush it now. But, you know. And it's got so much information about, you know, mobile junkyards and just all this sort of stuff. And all that, you know, so much about the things and that's all really cool. More sizes Cantina, the new one. Really cool. We have Han Solo there, May the 4th, I think 2013. Yeah, it said that. Uh, so more sizes Cantina, the new one. That's really cool. Set history. There was an old one in 2004. Very cool. Uh, we have the new uh, Millennium Falcon 2011. In my personal opinion, the best Millennium Falcon we've ever had. The third one. And then we have the UCS Millennium Falcon. Just like the old Visual Dictionary, it is a double-sided thing. And it is unbelievable. Unbelievable. 
Just an Emperor Palpatine, Death Star, oh my days, I so want to get this, but I do not have any new, anywhere near the funds to get this right now. Because I'm sort of saving up for the summer line, and I'm not even sure I'll be able to get all of them. Maybe I will, hopefully I will, but I mean, I'm not entirely sure I'll get all, get all of them, but there's been so many rumours about saying this will be retired, and I so want to get it! I know it's going to go for a ton of money on eBay when it's retired, my word. Um, Imperial Navy... We've got the new 8080 there. Is that the new one? I think, yeah, it's probably the new one. That's coming out. That's really cool. Have a look at that. And we've got the new Stormtrooper here. Very nice. Very nice indeed. We, there are apparently three other variants of the, um, what's it called? 8080. Very cool. Sandtrooper. You've got the new, oh, duh, I need to know the name of this. I've forgotten the name. Oh. Oh, I've been trying to revise the name of sort of things because I keep forgetting. Oh, that's cool. Um, Jubax? Yeah, Jubax, I think. And then we have up here, I just want to say the speeder bike. Holy cow! I mean, we always knew there was a bunch of different speeder bikes over the years, but apparently this is the sixth one, just like the droid car. Sixth variant of the speeder bike. There's been a bunch of them over the years, haven't there? Yeah, we've got the Tide Riders, different types of them. We've got the new Battle Pack down there. Oh, yes, my favorite. Well, not my favorite set, but like. One of my biggest, it's my biggest set until I got the sand crawler. Cloud City, obviously, very expensive now. If you want to go on eBay, you know, in mint condition. Rebel Alliance, Oz, it. Oh, yeah. Got the new one there. This is apparently the fourth version of the Y Wing. The Clone Wars Y Wing was the last one, so that's kind of strange. Echo Base, Rebels and Hoth. Yeah, we don't have the new um, Hoth Speeder here. Ha. Huh. See, this is the most recent one, apparently, and this is from 2013. That's kind of annoying. We don't have the 2014 one here. The 2014 one is not in the book, just like every other 2014 set. Oh, my days, that annoys me so badly. So Jabba's Palace here with the Rankle Pit. Jabba's Sail Barge. Got quite a lot of Jabba's. <laughs> Battle of Endor, all this different stuff. Get a new, no new B-Wing. Oh, no, 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 this is turn six one. Because, for whatever reason, they didn't put the new stuff in here. They only put some of it. And then we've got the Ewok Village. Very nice. I can't go into detail about this. We've got Expanded Universe, which is basically just mostly... This side is Old Republic, which I think they'll probably be discontinuing because with the new films and Star Wars Rebels and so much different stuff coming out, they won't be able to make all of it. So, I get the feeling we won't be seeing any more um, Old Republic sets. Maybe that's why they brought out Darth Revan. Maybe he was like, you know, the last ever thing we got from the Old Republic, because they can't manage all of it. Also got a bunch of stuff over here, you know, Jet 14 Starfighter, which is kind of a strange set. Not a bad set, just a strange set. The next chapter we have a specialised set. It's going quite a while, this review, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, we have Planet Sets. Oh yeah, Planet Sets, which ran for, what was it, like three years or something? Was it three years? No. Came out in 2012, 2011? I don't know what year they came out. <laughs> but uh, I think it ran for like two years or something, or one year or something, I don't know. Anyway, it's the planet says there. How many series of that was were there? Uh, it doesn't even say where how many planet sets were. I don't know, but you can just sort of count there how many planet sets there were. New microfighters, my favourite. Although saying that, I really love the Star Destroyer and the Millennium Falcon. They're my favourites out of those three. And I really like the eighty. Well, no, I don't really like that one much. <laughs> so I don't know why I said it. But anyway, um, we've got the mini sets we've had over the years. I've got like a thousand stats. Because stats are becoming so much more common now. You know, if you think about it, they're coming in a lot of sets. But anyway. Uh, even more mini sets. You can never have enough minis. And then we're on to Lego Technic. We've got a bunch of stuff here. UCS sets. Our Twin Collector series. Um, yeah. We've got this new stuff. Well, no, this is old stuff, but, you know. And then this is the new page of UCS sets. We have the Super Star Destroyer up there, of course, in the top. However, really, I don't think... That logically, I don't want to go into it now because it's quite long, but I don't really understand why anyone would really buy it. You know, if the only reason you'd ever buy it, in my opinion, is if you have a ton of money spare and a ton of space spare. Other than that, though, I highly recommend you don't get it at all. Not that it's a bad set. I'm going to stress that, just, you know... R2-D2 here, really cool. He's one of my favourite UCS sets. I really want to get him one day. And then we have the seasonal sets, uh, which technically isn't accurate, because seasonal sort of implies that you can only get it for a brief period of time, like the May the 4th figures. But you can actually get the advent calendars, like, now. You can still get them. I don't think you can get turn 11 one. By the way, my turn 11 one 
was the first ever and only ever advent calendar I've ever got. Like, well, I mean, you know, Lego Star Wars advent calendar because I thought, you know, twenty-five pounds. I'm not going to spend that every birthday or, I mean, sorry, Christmas. Um, you know, and my parents did buy it, but they said it was part of my, you know, birthday. Um, why do I keep saying birthday? Christmas presents. So yeah, and I was like, I'm not going to get this every year. I'd much rather spend my money on something else. Just a little brick fact there. You can pause that. Uh, and then we've got Beyond the Brick, which we had in the same one before. We've got the, like, you know, these are the prototype sand crawlers. You, that's a bunch of sand crawlers there. It's really awesome. Uh, and I really love this stuff. Very nice. Oh, wait. That's the Foliator Cannon. You may not know what I'm talking about, but if you watch the Clone Wars, and if you really paid attention, this appeared, like, twice. If you can see, in the end of Season 4, and somewhere in the middle of Season 1, we've got the Defoliator Cannon. He's making it. I mean, I strongly doubt this ever made into an actual set, but he's probably just making it, you know, for the fun of it. <laughs> but my days, an actual defoliator cannon. That's really cool. And we've got a bunch of 8080s there. A bunch of them. Yeah. Okay, now we're just designing Lego Star Wars. A bunch of facts and stuff here. I'm not going to read it all. He must be having me on. Um, but anyway, I'm not sure what this is. Some sort of, I don't know. Prototype model of the self-propelled heavy artillery walker. Uh, I'm not sure. We've, well, I assume we've seen it somewhere in Star Wars. Okay. Oh yeah, there's a section on designing the exclusive minifigures, like the one for this book, apparently. Yeah. I'm not gonna read all that. You must be joking, man. And then we have merchandising. You know, all these different stuff. I've got a few keyrings. And there were promotional pieces. I actually saw it on the news. I mean, I hope you did as well. I saw it on the news. The biggest ever Lego set ever, 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 ever. My word. Like, I've, like I've, I think this is like a full scale, you know, proper man sized version of the X Wing. You can see it sort of in the background there. See there? 5,335,200 pieces. That's a lot of pieces. Might be the biggest Lego set ever. I mean, the biggest one ever sold is the UCF Millennium Falcon, but you know. And this is all the stuff. You know, we've got some really cool stuff here. Uh, and then we've got the video games. You know, a bunch of these different video games. I sort of grew up on these video games because I, I was never really a gamer. You know, I, I just I mean, my most advanced console I have is a PSP, and I've got a PS2. That is my most advanced console. I don't have an Xbox or well, actually I do have a Wii, but it's still downstairs. It's more the family Wii, but anyway. Um, <laughs> so, you know, I sort of grew up on these games, I didn't really play anything else, not because I couldn't, but just because I didn't really want to, you know, and, and then we've got, of course, we've got the minifigure gallery, you may remember, I just did a review of the character encyclopedia from Town 11, and I said, I really want to make a new one, well, obviously they don't have to now, because they've got, you know, you've got every single minifigure here, every single variant, that's a lot of Darth Vader's, they've had a lot of Darth Vader's over the years, my word, there's a lot of them. Um, you know, just so many different people. We've got the gold C-3PO there. All oh, these different clone troopers. Look at these guys. Obviously, I'm not going to go through. I mean, look at those, all those astromechs. Look at them. Wow. That's a lot of different astromechs. Damn. And we've got a bunch of clone troopers there. That is really cool. That is a really cool scene. I might take a picture of that <laughs> and use it somewhere. Because that is really cool. Uh, we've got General Grievous's up there. We've got a bunch of different battle droids. Uh, and stuff. We've got quite a few Gen Oceans over the years, haven't we? Hmm. A bunch of Luke Skywalkers. A ton of Imperial things, Imperial officers. This this goes on for a while. There are quite the pages of this. Oh, and there we go. The and then we have the index. Obviously, you want to find them by name. And then we've got the acknowledgments in the back with the ATRT. And, yeah, so that is the contents of this thing. Now, I'm just going to, you know, there's nothing really more to say about it. That's the contents. I'm just going to go and conclude the review right now because it's probably way too long. Alright, so that is the LEGO Star Wars Visual Dictionary updated and expanded. I'm just going to try and rush this little bit because this review's already gone on for quite some time. Thank you, by the way, for sticking around. If you really did like this review, which I assume you did if you stuck around, then you could give it a like down below, because that would be greatly appreciated. Um, now, this visual dictionary is amazing. If you want to get some LEGO Star Wars book, or perhaps, you know, if you want to get your son or daughter, you know, perhaps some sort of... Like, if they've got every single LEGO Star Wars set they want, and you're wondering what to get them, 
um, maybe get them this, you know, because they may not have this, you know, the new um, book of every single set, and just, you know, I think they'd really enjoy it, it is a really cool um, book, just, just amazing, I really love to look through it, I just, I look through it casually, really, when I'm maybe watching something on the TV, and I just sort of generally look through it, because I love to see what other sets have come, you know, just, just all the stuff, also I use it for information, my reviews, I, I tenuously use it when the last one came out, and when all this different stuff. So yeah, so it is a really, really, really good book. By far my favourite Lego book ever. And it is it is amazing. There are flaws, as I said, for the fact it's not entirely updated, which is kind of annoying. Uh, but, you know, there you go. I mean, maybe there'll be another one in four years, and hopefully that won't be updated. But anyway. Anyway, so thank you guys so much for watching this incredible review. I really like this book. I doubt I'll be doing any more Lego Star Wars books anytime soon. I was more just doing the Lego Star Wars books leading up to this book. So, after this, I'm not really going to do any more. I don't think there are any more LEGO Stars books. There might be. There might be, like, sticker books or things, but you know what I mean. Anyway, so if you like this review, please do give it a like down below, because that would be greatly appreciated, you know. I'm not sure I tell you enough, but I really do like it when you like my videos. Which, you know, you get what I'm saying there, because, it, you know, it really does encourage me, and it's, it's great. Uh, so, um, and also, please leave down in the comments any of your comments. Because it's the comment section. Uh, I do try to answer um, as many um, questions put to me. You know, that would be great. Uh, sorry if it takes me a little while to get your question. But, you know, it's probably just because I'm answering other questions. So, uh, I will get your question eventually. Don't you worry. Leave it down there and I will get there. Okay. So, um, and also please subscribe to my channel because that would also be amazing. That's probably, like, the best thing you can do at the moment. And, you know, share this, you know, and stuff like that. Probably the best thing you can do for me because that would be amazing if you like the review. Anyways, thank you guys for watching so much. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I highly recommend this book above every other LEGO Star Wars book. You know? So there you go. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye, troops.